Hey everyone, this is Semlock24, and uh, today I've actually, uh, I've been doing a ton of uh, testing and trying to farm Chaz successfully, and I've tried a ton of decks, and at, at the very, very end, I tried a deck that I was actually using for, uh, I remember who it was, but it's super, super consistent, and let me show you, uh, let me show you three different decks that I was using, uh, or that are somewhat successful, uh, and then I'll show you the one that's like super, super successful. I think I haven't deleted it, hopefully I haven't. All right, so first one. All right, this deck. Let me go ahead and get into the deck list. With this one, you can achieve around four thousand dual assessments, uh, and uh, it's actually super, super simple to use. And for this one, uh, it's two Millennium Scorpions. And the next one, you can achieve anywhere from seven to eight dual uh, eight thousand dual assessments. But uh, if you don't have the cards for the other one, you can use this one. So two Millennium Scorpions, two Boxers. You can run three if you have three. Uh, one Gravekeeper's Vassal, one Blazing Impachi, three Gaga Gigo, two Union Attacks, three Insect Imitations, one Secret Pass to the Treasures, one Magic Drain, one Seven Tools of the Bandit, two Magic Jammers, and one Trap Jammer. So basically what I'm trying to achieve with this deck is to negate the Lightning Vortex and to negate that trap card that destroys the weakest monster, which most of the time you're only gonna have a uh, a scorpion or uh, or uh, an 1800 attack uh, beater like a boxer or a Giga Gigo. So overall, with this particular deck, you can reach around 4,000 to 5,000 dual assessments depending on how you play it. Uh, the next one uh, and the other the, this coming one, it's a complete failure. Don't even try it. Uh, I see that uh, a lot of websites are saying that this deck works. Uh, the deck doesn't work, and it's super, super, super inconsistent. It's uh, You're going to spend a ton of keys, and you're not going to get uh, anything in return. Uh, whenever it does work, it's like 1 out of 10 times, so I don't recommend it. Uh, basically, it's a uh, you get the Dark Paladin out, and you try to negate everything. Uh, but again, the deck, uh, it's most of the time, you're going to get killed by, uh, by the Dark Arm Dragon level 5. So uh, I don't suggest it, don't run it, even though a lot of people are saying that it works. Uh, and then they handpick a replay that they might have for you to kind of, I don't know if they want to prove that they can they did it, uh, which you can do it. And like I said, it's like one out of 10 times or maybe two out of 10 times that you are going to be able to go ahead and uh, make it work. But most of the time, it's, it's, not, it's not worth it. Just skip over it. Don't use the Dark Pad Index super inconsistent and then this one this one is super 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 consistent and you're gonna be winning eight out of ten times and let me go ahead and show you the deck list uh it's actually a deck that i've used before and it's a blue eyes deck uh once you get a blue eyes you most of the time will just win and let me get into uh, go ahead into the deck list and then i'll show you how it works so three kaiba man you needed to go ahead and special summon the blue eyes uh three blue drug uh, dragon summoner one kid moto dragon one Gravekeeper's Vassal, three uh, Blue Eyes White Dragons, uh, two Union Attacks, one Secret Pass, three Champions Vigilance, and three Jar of Greed. So basically what you want to do is you want to have Blue Eyes out as fast as possible. And at that, uh, at that point, most of the time you'll win. The only thing that you do have to look out for is a Lightning Vortex, and that's why I'm playing Champions Vigilance. Uh, you can also play, uh, if you don't have the, the Village Vigilance, uh, play um, Ultimate Providence, but uh, do run several other spell cards instead of the Jar of Greeds. Uh, that way you can go ahead and negate the Lightning Vortex. Uh, when using this deck, do not attack. Just sit on that Blue Eyes White Dragon and he's not going to be able to do anything. If for some reason he's able to summon the the, uh, the Arm Dragon level 7, uh, He's going to bring it out in defense mode. And let me go ahead and show you a, uh, a replay that I recorded. And I recorded uh, one with a, with a scorpion and another one with a, with the blue eyes. But uh, for, for this purpose, I'm just going to show you the, uh, the one with the blue eyes. Because there's really no point in showing you the, the, uh, the scorpion one unless you want to see it. And if you want to see it, go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment section. Uh, and I'll go ahead and upload it. But it's... Uh, the Scorpion, all you have to really do is just keep attacking. And you can't achieve a high uh, dual assessment because uh, most of the time he'll run out uh, run out of cards way, way, way too fast. And you're not going to have your uh, your Vassal and your Union attack. So that's uh, most of the time that's what the what the problem is. That he, he'll, uh, you'll end, he'll end up using most of his cards since 
Uh, most of his monsters are searchers, and you just keep attacking him, and he just keeps searching. But um, like I said, if if you don't have the cards for this blue eyes deck, which I'm pretty sure most of you do, uh, just go ahead and run uh, run that scorpion deck. Uh, also, uh, I did try and I spent a, a ton of keys to the, uh, and uh, trying different things out. I did try out the the Solid Magician level eight deck. Uh, that deck super inconsistent also to farm. Uh, don't I don't suggest it. Uh, so you might as well just skip that that one. Uh, I think you might win like three, uh, two, maybe half of the games that that you play. You might win. It's not as consistent as this Blue Eyes uh, deck. Uh, the there was also. Uh, Saying that the Hor Horus could be used, uh, but uh, again, same thing as with the with the Silent Magician level eight. Just skip those decks, go straight to the Blue Eyes. Uh, a lot of people are hyping those decks, and even some people here on YouTube, I've actually seen some that said that that deck is working. It's not working. Um, I don't want to go ahead and uh, mis uh, mislead you or anything. Um, or maybe I don't know how to play the deck. Who knows? Maybe they're right. But in my opinion, don't run any of those decks. They're they're super super bad, and they're not gonna get you uh, as as high as a dual assessments as you are gonna get with this uh, with this deck. And like I said, getting anywhere from seven to eight uh, eight thousand dual assessment. And I think on this one, I think I get seven thousand eight hundred, and then on another one I got eight thousand. But I've never gotten a dual assessment lower than seven thousand. All right, and uh, I, my screen accidentally went out, so I do have to have to restart it. But uh, anyways, do try this deck out. Uh, it's really, really good. Just don't attack with it. Uh, wait until you run out of cards, and then you can go ahead and attack directly for massive damage and get those high dual assessments. All right, and now let me show you what I've gone so far from farming uh, uh, chess. I've actually I've gotten super, super, uh, super lucky. Well, I'm, I don't know if it's luck or what it is, but uh, anyways... Uh, the card that I'm wanting to get is this guy. For some reason, I can't get lucky enough to get this guy. But I have gotten two copies of Ujama King, which is really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to do a deck here, uh, most likely tomorrow. Uh, two Despairs for, uh, Despair from the Dark Dimension. And uh, basically, a couple of... Uh, I already traded some of those uh, uh, cards in. But uh, anyways, overall, two Ujama Kings and two Despair from the Dark out of like 1,000... Or, or like, no, it's, it was like 1,500 keys that I've spent. But uh, anyways, the deck is really, really good and really consistent. And I do highly uh, suggest. Uh, and I feel bad that it, uh, I actually tried that Blue Eyes deck at the very, very end. Uh, I should have been using it uh, with all those extra keys. And maybe I would have gotten a couple copies of the Ujama Blue. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be it for today. If you have any uh, questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you in any way, go ahead and leave a like. And if you really, really enjoyed it and you want to help the channel out, do subscribe. As I am trying to hit those uh, those thousand subscribers. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.